object oriented analysis the noun phrase approach it would be a very interesting topic so let's let us discuss this one with further detailing the developers having less exposure with the application domain can make use of these three stage process to extract candidate classes so it is a very vital question for the freshers for the developers who are not having a good exposure on a certain domain in the application in which the, the domain in which the application is going to get developed that how to get the classes and what are the classes are to be there and what will be their respective methods and attributes are to be included in a certain class so that's why this candidate classes how to get this candidate classes is a big question for certain developers so first one is that so here you are having three stage approach the first one concise problem definition so define the product as briefly and concisely as possible that means we should define the software product or the software problem whatever it is the problem statement should be very much concise and must be given briefly and preferably in a single statement if it is possible next one informal strategy the constraints specified informally must be taken into account so what are the different constraints we have mentioned informally that should be taken into our account formalize the strategy that is identify the nouns in the informal strategy exclude those that lie outside the problem boundary so here we are considering the nouns and those nouns which are outside of the problem boundary should be excluded of the requirement gathering is added and formalized to identify the candidate classes if this conception is not cleared up to this particular discussion so let us proceed more the guidelines for selecting tentative classes in the given application are search for nouns pronouns and noun phrases in the use cases so that is the search for nouns pronouns and noun phrases in the use cases so what are the use case use cases are nothing but the functional requirement in the software in the system nouns and noun phrases become the objects and attributes verbs and verb phrases become the operations and associations possessive phrases indicate that noun should be attribute rather than the objects so these are the respective uh, what should i say formalities we should maintain that is the nouns and noun phrases become the objects and attributes attributes of the class attributes of the object and then verbs and verb phrases become the operations and associations operations means methods and associations and this possessive phrases indicate that noun should be attributes rather than the objects so some classes are either implicit or taken from general knowledge all classes must make sense in the application domain and avoid computer implementation classes and delay them to the design stage so that means it indicates that we should explain we should gather all these classes all these candidate classes in such way that there should not be any redundancy and it should cover all the aspects of our design carefully choose and define class names this class names and class name and nomenclature should be done very precisely and carefully so that from the name even we should get the idea of what is the purpose of the class so this is the way to have our methods how to have our attributes in the class to have our class names and the respective association between classes the candidate classes of noun phrase approach can be divided into three categories such as relevant classes fuzzy classes that is the classes that are not sh sure about and the irrelevant classes that means they can be excluded and they can be uh, deleted from the system therefore finding the exact list of required classes is iterative and incremental process so it is iterative means inclusion of this classes will be iterative where we are going to revise and we are going to retune our problem statement again and again so that we should read our problem statement 
we should read our problem definition again and again so that these classes whether it should be treated as a relevant class or say fuzzy class or irrelevant class so they are to be categorized in a suitable way so that we are going to make our system ready with the relevant classes only and those classes should have a proper name so that from the class name event the nomenclature should be done in such an interesting way that from the class name event we can get the purpose of the class. So, in case of redundant classes what we should do? The classes which express the some information same information must be voided. Use the same words to define class that is being used by the user of the system. That means whenever you are finding that some classes are there which are having the same kind of functionalities. So, those classes are to be are to be eliminated. Adjective classes the classes which behave differently when the object represented by the noun and behaves differently when the adjective are applied to it. So, they are known as the adjective classes. So, let me repeat the definition once again for your better understanding. The classes which behave differently when the object represented by the noun and behaves differently when the adjectives applied to it. That means, whenever we are having this adjective classes, so whenever it is differently behaving when it will be treated as a noun and behaves differently when the adjectives are applied to it. I think for the better understanding we will be going for the case studies which are there in our in the last portion of our tutorial we are having multiple case studies where we have discussed and there we have used this noun phrase filtering and how to get the classes out of them we have discussed that one with a real life case study there. Please watch those videos also to have a grip over this concept. Attribute classes means the noun phrase that is the client status is not separate class but it is an attribute of the client class. So, it indicates that let us suppose that is one noun phrase. As an example, we are having this client status. So, against the client status, we cannot create any separate class. We should not create any separate class. It will be the attribute of a class. So, that is known as the attribute classes. So, here we are having this adjective classes. We are having this redundant classes. So, we have defined the definition of three classes. We are having this. Now, going for the irrelevant classes. The class that is not having any purpose is known as irrelevant class. And for each candidate class, the statement of purpose must be clearly defined and if it is not possible, eliminate the candidate class. So, that means for the irrelevant classes, that means which are not very much linked with, this, with the system, some nouns you might be finding in the problem statement which are not very much related to the system. So, those, those particular classes should not be formed because they are the irrelevant classes. Vague classes, the classes that are out of scope within the boundaries of the problem statement are known as the vague classes. So, that means we are having some nouns, but these nouns are not related with the problem and they are outside of the boundaries of the of the domain. So, that those classes are not to be are not to be constructed because they are known as the vague classes. So, relevant classes we are having, we are having fuzzy classes and we are having irrelevant classes. So, now let us go for this diagram for the better understanding. So, problem statement which will be consisting of set of requirements. First set of candidate classes are to be formed. Review irrelevant classes and review redundant classes and then review attributes and then review adjectives. So, in this way we are going to have the identifying the classes using noun phrase approach. So, in this diagram we have shown you that what are the different steps for this noun phrase approach. So, now a simplified steps noun phrase approach can also be also be shown using this diagram that is the requirement statement. So, exact nouns we are going to find, find and then tentative object classes and exact nouns will produce the object classes from this respective noun phrase approach. So, in this particular session we have discussed that how to form classes, how to get the methods in a classes how to get the attributes in a classes and what are to be eliminated, what are to be combined and what are to be uh, treated as the outside of the boundary of the domain on which we are making our system ready. So, they are not to be considered. So, in this way 
we are going to get our primary classes, the respective attributes and the respective methods and operations. So, it is a very tricky one and obviously going through the case study only we can explain it further. So, please, wa please watch all the case studies whatever have been discussed in this tutorial. Thanks for watching this video.